Splatoon never ceases to be an incredible amount of fun. That's their pun, not mine. Ever since the first Splatoon for the Wii U came out in 2015, a new iconic Nintendo franchise was born and kept that momentum with Splatoon 2. Splatoon 3 expands upon Splatoon 2 even more so with some sweet new mechanics and customization options along with a single player campaign at the start, as in like it's not a DLC, but maybe still feels a bit like DLC. I hate to be the one who says that, but I'd be lying to you if I said otherwise, but hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, DPX here, reviewing today Splatoon 3. Now before we get started, you know what to do, be sure to like this video, subscribe to hit the bell, leave a comment, or I will take all of your clothes and put permanent ink all over them. The core gameplay for Splatoon 3 is a lot of fun, even if it is more or less the same thing as the last two games, which is not inherently a bad thing. Splatoon is one of those franchises that I don't think really needs to change that much, I guess because we're only three games in. Many people complain about that, and I understand, but it doesn't bother me too much, as the gameplay has always been fun. There are many weapons you can use, the gun, the roller, the brush, the bucket, a fucking sword, which uh, is broken, at least when you're trying to, like, kill an enemy. Or, they're not really enemies, they're other players, whatever. There are a lot of weapons to choose from. Not to mention, the thrill of getting a kill on an enemy is always satisfying. I'm gonna cut this segment rather short, though, because there isn't much to say about the gameplay, since it's, again, more or less the same as it has always been. <laughs> Usually I don't give the modes for a game its own segment, but this time, I wanna. There are two major modes in Splatoon 3, the multiplayer and the single player. The main meat of Splatoon 3 is obviously the online, but before I talk about that, the single player. The single player in Splatoon 3 is perfectly fine, but it's shorter than Octo Expansion from Splatoon 2, which was... DLC. I like the single player though. I notice it's like basically like test the targets or whatever, but with a bit of a story, which I like. Hell, you get Callie and Marie from Splatoon 1 as characters pretty much in this, which is pretty cool. Multiplayer, however, is where it's at. Even when I lose, I never want to stop playing. Splatoon 3 might be one of the most addicting games of the year. The general concept is the same as the first two games, 4-on-4, four four, trying to beat the other team in, you know, Turf War. You know, you gotta win by covering the map with the more ink, or Anarchy Battles, which, you know, in a series mode, you get, you do, you need to win five matches, but uh, you can't lose three, or there's Salmon Run. This game is just a lot of fun. This is the other stuff segment, the segment where I talk about other stuff worth mentioning but not much to say on. Obviously the game looks great. I do notice the frames drop a little bit at times, but visually the game just looks great. Additionally, Splatoon music always slaps, and it sure does in this game. I also really like Inkopolis in this game. It just looks great, and I've honestly got lost looking around. Inkopolis. And finally, you can skip the fucking Splatcast, or Inkopolis News. I think in this game it's just called Splatcast. That doesn't sound like a big deal, but trust me, those unskippable Splatcasts or Inkopolis Newses from the previous games were aggravating after a while, so I just love that you can skip them. But then, herein lies my biggest issue with Splatoon 3, and it doesn't ruin the game for me, but my issue here is, it's Splatoon 2.5. I remember when Splatoon 2 came out, and it was deemed Splatoon 1.5, so this is as expected with this game, but personally, I feel they could have done a little more to separate itself. I thought that Splatoon 2 was similar to 1 because of the short turnaround, 
you know, it only came out two years later. But Splatoon 3 came out five years later, so I wish there was some new stuff, you know? Like, at the very least, if you can't change up the gameplay that much, maybe change it from 4-on-4 four four to, like, 5-on-5. Five five. Like, maybe you can do that. Small changes like that can really set this game apart, I feel. I don't know, I feel like if they did that, now that I think about it, I feel like if they did that, I would be saying that that's not enough. But, you know, just... Something like that, I feel like, would be a pretty cool change. I know this game will get better over time, and it's not much of an issue. I don't like the way Nintendo does live service games, but Splatoon has always been a neat exception. So I'm not disappointed. I was just hoping for a little more. Splatoon 3 is a worthy follow-up to 2, and further proves why Splatoon is an up-and-coming franchise for Nintendo. It never ceases to be fun, and the single player, even if a little short, is pretty fun. I don't think it's worth $60 though, yet. Normally that's a bad thing when I say it's not worth the price yet, but I trust Nintendo with Splatoon, and the game is already a lot of fun. The game is worth sinking time into. I want to stick around. So as a live service game, and in that regard, Splatoon 3 does its job. In the end, I'm gonna give Splatoon 3 an 8 out of 10. It'll get really damn good. I just can't score it higher than an 8. If. I know it's gonna be worth 60. It's just not there yet. Well, that was my review for Splatoon 3. A bit of a quicker one. I didn't have that much to say about it, really, just because... It's a fun game. I, that's really the meat of it. But yeah, what do you guys think? Splatoon 3, do you like the game? Do you not like the game? Do you have the game? Do you not have the game? And if you don't have the game, do you want the game? Do you not want the game? Anything about the game, let me know down below. Anyways, be sure to like this video, come subscribe, or I will put permanent ink on all of your favorite clothes. Bye!